So, fourth row, yard retention, Tori on the tops. Um, let's just say Tyrone makes his Tori on the grips. We know he wants to cut an angle. We know he wants to pin that knee to the mat, take a back a step. So we're gonna take an advantage of making a grip on the sleeve. The minute he cuts an angle, I make a grip on the sleeve, and I just kick with my leg. Okay, as he sits up, I just kick, and I stiff arm him here. Now if he does nothing, I'm just gonna move my hips back, and we're back into guard again. Just again on that, bro. So, I'm taking advantage of this stiff arm I'm here. Now, if I, if I have no jiu-jitsu skills and I post my hand on the mat, Tyrone can actually keep my legs pinned and run around in my back and throw in the hooks. woo -hoo! And he's there to take a back step. But because I've actually come up on a hand, as he circles, I can turn the face. Okay. And there's nothing to stop me as he's trying to put weight on me to go back into the soup line position. And now from here, I can start to go back into playing my whole game. Staying connected to Tyrone and getting back into being offensive. Let's take a look at that again. So he's made his grips. So it's all about this stiff arm grip. Okay. The minute I push to set up, even if Tyrone tries to get some sort of grip on me here, I can now just turn to face him. Using that stiff arm to make a structure. As he tries to rotate, I'm using my left hand. Um, to keep him in front. We covered um, the basic drill of that earlier on in the in the measure cycle when we were covering the individual solo drills. So that's just putting it into a guard passing drill.